Hi, I have another Tidbits in Time video for you. In this video we are going to be making butterflies using tool and some wire. The finished, finished butterfly looks like this. To get started you'll want a wire cutter, you'll want some tool, some beads, your scissors, some wire. I have wire in the two millimeter size and I have wire in a one, I believe it's a one millimeter size. Um, so you'll want two different sizes of wire and then you'll also want something to form your butterfly wings with. I'm just using this paint container and it is about one inch in diameter. So your very first step is to take your wire, that's two millimeters, and you're going to make four of these. So you'll take your wire, wrap it around, your paint container or whatever you're using to form your butterfly wings giving enough room on one end to wrap it. So you'll wrap that wire up tight around here to form your circle and then trim it off. And again you'll want to make uh, four of these circles. Okay. After you have your four circles wired up and put together, you'll want to take your tool and put your wire that you have wrapped up inside of the tool and then you'll just wrap the tool around that circle and I usually, this is the part you want to make sure the tool is tight around the wire it gives your butterfly a better definition and then you'll take and I usually just twist up the end so after you have that done after your tools wrapped around and twisted then you want to take your one millimeter wire the smaller wire and wrap that around it and this is going to keep the tool tight around the wing Wire can be kind of tricky to work with sometimes if you're not if you're not used to it. But you want to get that tight and that'll keep your tool on there. See, I have that wrapped around and then you can take a scissors and just trim that tool. It's also important, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, when you do your uh, circles, your so when you form your circles and then you wrap wrap the end, you want to keep it kind of short or the back of your butterfly uh, where you have everything tied together that'll get kind of puffy on your page or your card. So again, now you'll do this the same way with all four of them. Okay, now after you have all four of your circles wrapped in tulle or your butterfly ring wings wrapped up in tulle, you'll want to layer them on top of each other just one over top of the other and if you notice you have uh, long pieces of tool hanging off or a long wire you can go ahead and trim it up so you'll layer all four of them together one right on top of the other they're, it's all, they're all the same so it doesn't matter what in which order you do this and then you'll take your wire your one millimeter wire again and you're just gonna wrap it around all four wings to keep the four wings together. I wrap it quite a few times because you don't want it to fall apart. And then after you have that wire on there, you can do that anyway, whatever way works the best for you to work with wire. I trim that off. Okay, and after you have all four wrapped up together, this is where you can start separating the wings and where your butterfly is really going to start taking shape. You'll pull the back two and then the front two and your butterfly is basically formed. Now we just have a couple finishing pieces and you'll have your butterfly. So your next step is to take your beads and your one I like to use, actually I like to use the heavier heavy millimeter the two millimeter wire on this part so you'll take your butterfly and where um, See in this one, you'll you're going to wrap your wrap the two millimeter wire around the body of the butterfly, and then put the beads on that body part. So, um, and you'll want your antennas to come off of the top of the butterfly, which would be the bottom two wings. So, you'll 
take that wire and give yourself enough room so you have a base to curl up the ends of your antenna or spiral the ends of your antenna. So you wrap it around and you can give these, give it a twist. So now that your butterfly is formed, the last thing we have to do is put the beads and the antenna on. You can see on this one I have the antenna coming off of the top of the butterfly and then the beads going around the middle. So to do that, you'll want to take your 2mm wire, I just have to trim the end off of mine, take your 2mm wire and wrap it around the body of the butterfly. You'll want to give yourself enough room to make your butterfly. So you'll take your wire, and this one, the copper wire might look kind of funny, I just thought it would be easier to see against the background, so um, that's why I use copper, and this one you can really use any color you want to match your tool. So take your longer piece, and again remember to give yourself enough room to form the antenna, put your beads on, and then wrap that around the back of your butterfly, keeping the beads on top. So I just bend it and then bring it forward. And you can give give it a twist so your beads don't fall off. And then you can just trim that off. And then you can, um, sometimes you have to kind of play around with the wire a little bit to get it to be in the exact place you want it to be. Like this one, I have to give it another twist here. So after you do that, then you can start forming your, your antenna. And to do that, I just make a curl with my wire cutter. And sometimes after you're done from forming everything and trying to get everything into place, your butterfly might not look very even and you have to play around with the wire a little bit. Included in the August kit is some tool and I believe there's a yard of tool included in that kit and I made oh, like six or seven butterflies out of that yard of tool so it doesn't really take very much tool but they're a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed it and they're not at all difficult either, but they look they look pretty neat. So um, there you can see we have our finished our finished butterfly. And um, again, you can you know play around with the wire to get it back into the circle shape that you want it. To uh, see more tutorials or the kit for August, visit www.tidbitsintime.com. Thank you for watching.